Fair Haven City Commission approved the reopening of the local theme park. Legoland will reopen on June 1st after the park's general manager explained the COVID-19 precautions the park would be taking, including sanitizing, social distancing, and other restrictions for park guests. The park would reopen to half capacity, which is around 6,000 guests, and will recommend face masks, providing complimentary masks to those who don't bring one. Legoland will also bar admissions to anyone who has a fever of 100.4 degrees or higher and will refuse to admit all members in that person's party on the assumption they may also carry the coronavirus, consistent with warnings from the global health officials. Legoland employees will take the temperature of every guest at the entrance with a forehead thermometer, he said. If that shows a temperature at or above the threshold, the guest will be tested again with a different thermometer to confirm the result. Governor Ron DeSantis has issued an executive order stating that he will consider allowing Florida theme parks to reopen if Halsley B. Shares, Secretary of the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation, approves the park's plans for handling COVID-19 related issues. The order requires a support letter from both municipal and county leaders. In addition to the overall 50% capacity limitation, Legoland will enforce the same limitation at facilities inside the park, such as restaurants and live entertainment venues, and at the hotels. Some Legoland attractions will not reopen on June 1st because of social distancing requirements. Those include some games, interactive play areas, and live meet and greets with costumed characters. To keep up on the latest park entry guidelines, visit the Legoland's website at legoland.com. Still open too much. It's open for business. Still too much of a little bit of a risk for me, but yeah. I'm sure there's going to be people who are and chomping at the bit to go. And that's just it. I think I think certain people their their risk thresholds lie at different at different areas. Obviously, mm -hmm. if you've got family members that you're in contact with that um, that are immunocompromised. are immunocompromised or in those, you want to stay away from places like this. But uh, for most people, the general public, they're they're willing to get out and. Start getting back to some type of normalcy. I mean. We'll see what the new normal yeah. is.